Now, obviously I'm not saying at any point in time in the life situation you should let somebody lay their hand on your chest. This is about teaching you form, about teaching you shape, about teaching you structure. Okay? So what we have to remember is that if this is the limb that's in contact, this is probably the key danger for us now. Okay? So one of the things this helps teach us is the ability to move. Okay? Rather than staying square on and trade techniques with somebody who might be stronger, faster, um, more determined than we are, hopefully not, okay? but they might be, we need to be able to move. I don't want to have to move very far, so what we're going to do is this is just going to shift here, shift here. But I can't fall, because of this contact, what I can't do is just push the arm across. Because it catches. Yeah? So where a beginner might move back to do it, the senior grade will hopefully will encourage you to use that C-shaped spine. So if we've got that pressure here, we create the space by creating a C-shaped spine. And then from here we've got our knife hand, from here we've got our rising block. Okay. And from here we've got our low block coming in from here, we've got our outer block coming from here, all working into this line. Again, the key point again, that everything should allow us to complete the circle. Any technique that leaves me with a position where this hand cannot reach this hand reasonably comfortably puts me in a position weak and unbalanced position. It puts me in a position where I have to rely on physical strength rather than technical strength. And in self-defense, that is a no -no. Okay? So, we've got this pressure here, I've got this here now. Here now, okay? So, drop your weight into it here. From this position, we have our knife hand, we have our outer block, okay? We have our low block. We have our rising block, okay? Driving the arm into the face. All from this same set position. All opening up for things like an MRI. Uh, Yakazuki. Opening up for things like dead MRI. Okay? So, from this position in here, it's shift here. Sink. Feet. One foot at least has to point into your target line. If I go like this, all of a sudden my technique is weak. John wants to turn back and I go into my posture here. C shaped spine. Breath. John pushes. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay? If he moves, I move. Okay? I move. I move. I move. I move. I move. Here. All goes back down to this. Okay? And it may look a little bit like you're constipated, but it's a really, really good posture. It's a really, really good technique. Okay? Sanchi, modified Sanchi, fighting Sanchi. It is the principles it extols that we're interested in. Right? So you're going to get that hand against the chest, boom, you're here. So all of a sudden, this is the same as the very first exercise you did, isn't it? Yes? And then you've got here. Yeah? We've got here. We've got here. We've got here. Right? So we're going to 